Various aspects of bees and honey. Types of bees. Honey bees. These are the most well-known bees and are responsible for producing honey. They live in large colonies and have distinct castes, including workers, drones, and a queen. Bumblebees. Bumblebees are larger and hairier than honeybees. They are social insects, but their colonies are smaller than those of honeybees. Solitary bees. These bees do not live in colonies and do not have a queen. Instead, each female bee lays her eggs in individual nesting chambers. Carpenter bees. These bees are known for boring into wood to create their nests. They can be solitary or semi-social, depending on the species. Mason bees. Mason bees are solitary bees that use mud to build their nests. They are excellent pollinators. Bee life cycle. Egg. The life cycle begins with the queen bee laying eggs in the wax cells of the hive. Larva. The eggs hatch into larva, which are fed by worker bees. Pupa. The larva then spin cocoons and pupate, undergoing metamorphosis. Adult. After pupation, adult bees emerge from their cocoons. Lifespan of bees. Worker bees typically live for a few weeks to a few months during the summer. Their lifespan is shorter during the winter months when they may live several months. Queen bees. Queen bees can live for several years, although their egg-laying productivity decreases with age. Drones have the shortest lifespan, usually living for a few weeks or even just a few days. Bee Sting and Remedy When a bee stings, it injects venom, which can cause pain, swelling, and allergic reactions in some people. Here's what to do if stung. Remove the stinger. Quickly remove the stinger with a credit card or your fingernail, avoiding pinching it, as this can release more venom. Wash the area. Clean the area with soap and water to reduce the risk of infection. Reduce swelling. Apply a cold pack or a cloth soaked in cold water to reduce swelling. Pain relief. Over-the-counter pain relievers can help with pain and discomfort. Allergic reactions. Seek immediate medical attention if you experience signs of a severe allergic reaction, such as difficulty breathing, hives, or swelling of the face and throat. Honey making. Honey is produced by honey bees through the following process. Foraging. Worker bees collect nectar from flowers using their proboscis, tongue, and store it in a special stomach called the crop. Enzyme addition. While in the crop, enzymes are added to the nectar, breaking down the complex sugars into simpler sugars. Regurgitation. The partially digested nectar is regurgitated into the hive's honeycomb cells. Evaporation. Bees fan the nectar with their wings to remove excess moisture, reducing it to a thick syrup. Sealing. Once the honey is sufficiently dehydrated, bees cap the cells with wax to preserve the honey. Benefits of honey. Nutrient rich. Honey contains vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, making it a healthier sweetener compared to refined sugar. Antibacterial properties. Honey has natural antibacterial properties and can be used topically to promote wound healing. Sore throat relief. Honey can soothe a sore throat and cough when mixed with warm water or tea. Energy boost. The natural sugars in honey provide a quick source of energy. Skin health. Honey can be used in skincare as a moisturizer and exfoliant. Allergy relief. Some people believe that consuming local honey can help reduce allergy symptoms, although scientific evidence is limited. Remember that while honey has health benefits, it should be consumed in moderation due to its high sugar content. Honey should not be given to infants under one year old due to the risk of botulism.